he with Craig knew it. So, Craig, tell me about Boogie Dancer. Barry 15, you've ended up somehow on the rail. That was an outstanding ride by you. Yeah, sort of half jibbed the start a little bit and just whipped straight in, in behind him, found the fence. And I've been getting back and wide all day and not really making a lot of ground. So, I just decided to ride for luck, and she got the luck and was too good. It's been a funny pattern, hasn't the racing pattern all day? It's been very hard to read, and you went the other way this time on the rail and got the cushy run, and away you went. Yeah, it's cutting out a little bit now. The track's probably dead to slow now, and she's a horse that really appreciates soft ground, so it didn't really worry me being down on the on the inside, but she's cut right out, and I mean she she's metropolitan grade in Melbourne, so she she disposes of those. You rode her for a couple of times in Melbourne last preparation back in the back in the winter. Of course, yep. a good a good second to sand down and one pack in the middle. She's got a bit more distance in her. Yeah, absolutely. She'll yep. um she'll run a mile and a half on her ear. Yes. Today was fourteen hundred, which is well short of her pet trip and. I think they've got a long target, something like a Launceston Cup. She's probably not quite good enough for a Launceston Cup, but if you, you manage to um, strike a wet track, she could, she could fluke getting in the money somewhere. Tell me about Dream Flyer from earlier. Obviously, it's your Cups ride with the Hobart Launceston next Sunday in Hobart. It looked at the 300 you're nearly going to gather in the winner. You pleased with the round? Yeah, absolutely. He, uh, he hasn't ran since the Devonport Cup. It's been, I think, five weeks now. Um, he just probably ran out a little bit bit of condition late. I was on the back of the winner and decided to come around him to give him a nice hit out and the winner got the luck, all the luck through and, and was too good but uh, I think it's uh, an average cup field this year and I think he's one of the leading contenders. And obviously you'd like to add a Hobart Cup to your long on board. Yeah exactly uh, managed to win too so third yep. one would be nice. Yep. Craig thanks for joining us all the best and good to see you back here in Hobart mate. No worries thank you.